Shalom. All praise goes to Yahweh Bashim El Shai Bashim Kak Badash. The varnish goes into the apostles and elders and great millstone that taught me the truth. And much love and peace and blessings goes out to all you hopeful life brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai in truth and sincerity. So I'm going to do this uh, in transit lesson. Which I want to speak about this movie Hollywood uh, just released a preview about, uh, which is uh, the Woman King, <laughs> fucking joke, man. Which is basically a movie about a, uh, I believe this had to be 19th century West Africa, and where there was a kingdom were due to, uh, I believe, the slave trade and a lot of their men dying in a certain war. These women were raised up or recruited as female warriors. And these would have been, of course, so-called black women, right? Because the origins of the most black women of the United States, so-called black women, would be West Africa. You know, of course, the slaves were taken from other places around the world, like, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, Spain and so forth in parts of Europe. But, um, you know, these women had, uh, joined a, a fighting force and they were an actual thing but you got to think why retroactively in 2022 they're deciding to do of all storylines throughout history oh yeah this war over here that war over there blah 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 they are choosing to do this type of story with this type of narrative you know why because they the Hollywood, which is a, which is a, a branch of the elites, or I should say, uh, they're controlled by the elites. They're controlled by higher forces that use Hollywood to as a tool for their propaganda and brainwashing. Why? Because they want black women to be in masculine roles. They don't want the Israelite woman to be in order. It's all about, for them, it's all about the inversion and the replacement of what is right with what is wrong. Because a true place of a woman is not to be on a fucking battlefield. They're doing this movie in honor of this barely known historical band of women. <laughs> And giving them clout here in 2022 to view them as some type of give them some type of esteem among women and I just seen uh, yesterday from the post of this fucking I don't even call this woman a swirler she's just a hater of fucking black men but she all she does is post negative posts about so-called black men and puff up the heads of black women. She posted a picture of a Detroit <laughs> fucking Detroit police force uh, of all black women, man. And can you imagine what it would be like working there if you was like one of the... <laughs> which I don't know if it was just the black woman of that police force or if it was a police all black woman police force. <laughs> But uh, can you imagine what it would be like to work there? Or what it would be like if you had to get a call from that fucking department? Or if you had to call that department to help you? Finish. But the point what I'm making is that narrative plays into what they're doing in the earth. We're really in Western countries, in America and Europe. Because even in West Africa itself, they ain't going for that shit. They ain't letting women join their army. They, they, Boko Haram don't got female fighters. You see what I mean? But they're 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 surely trying to. Esau wants to pollute the entire world with that type of madness. In a woman's place, 
but I haven't said it, is not on the front lines or a battlefield fighting, letting her voice be heard and all this other shit. No, a woman's place is in the home. So I just tell you, if a woman was to learn something, she should learn from her husband at home. Let her guide the children. Let the older woman teach the younger women. If a woman's role is to teach, it would be to teach younger women how to properly serve their husbands and teach them how to be better mothers. You know, mothering skills. That's what, a, that's what women are supposed to teach. And that is an essential and vital important most dutiful role of a woman and when you don't have that society your culture becomes out of whack because the ba the most basic unit of a nation is the family so if you got a man who's out on his purpose doing what he's supposed to do and then you got women <laughs> you got women out of there out of order trying to replace the role of a man not doing what she's supposed to do how is that family supposed to grow it doesn't grow it decays and it dies that's why the situation between the so-called black man and so-called black woman in america in these times is so fucking it's it's deplorable man it's disgusting man holy piece of shit these women, see, I'm here sitting here talking about the women. Lo and behold, this little Twinkie mixed race black woman, so called mixed, there's no such thing as mixed, but I just say that. Uh, don't even know how to fucking drive, man. But anyway, yeah, because she ain't at home. The bitch ain't at home. She should be somewhere breastfeeding, man. But anyway, stupid bitches, man. Anyway, man. Yeah, this woman, this this uh, movie, Woman King. Woman, and, and look at the title itself. Woman King. A woman, uh, uh, the title of a king is gender exclusive. You have to be a man in order to be a king. Because the female position of rulership is always, you know, it comes with a different title. Of course, king and queen is English, are English terms. But they're, again, they're gender exclusive. You can't have a dude who's the ruler of Norway be a, a queen. Oh, he's the queen of, like, what? You see what I mean? They're, they're just in inverting roles. You see, it's a part of it plays into, of course, trying to brainwash black women and women in general. And, and at this point, man, these women are fucking gone. What more brainwashing needs to be done? That's why we're so close to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai coming. And but what, what, what Esau is doing with his movies, he's just solidifying the inversion that's already taking place. You know, the, the swapping of gender roles and women being wicked as hell, out of order. Because at this point, they're already gone. All he's doing is continuing like it's a tradition to him now. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that's new in the minds of women. He's just further solidifying for younger generations of, of young girls to, to be like this, man. To be all diked out. This shit, man. It's, and it's, it's disgusting. This is why how we know, I know, and how we know we're close to, to, to the return of the Lord because if, if, when things are this disgusting and fucking out of whack, how about Shemir al Shah? He's, he's about to act. <laughs> he's about to act, man. And, um, uh, Man, what's I gonna say? Yeah, so you know that inversion of, of gender roles as well, it plays into Esau's left hand religion, which is Satanism and witchcraft <laughs> idolatry because the, the gods of the heathen nations a lot of the heathen uh, gods, when you take a look at them, the pagan gods, they're always into uh, homosexuality. And, and um, a, for example, a, a male god could become a female god. He can somehow magically change his form and appearance. Or a female god can conversely become a, a male god. You see what I'm saying? So they are reflecting that mindset and that religion in the minds of of the people.
so that they can get power on the left hand. Do you see what I mean? So this is why these type of things are being done. So Woman King, a fucking joke. And yeah, black women think like that. They think they're high and mighty and bad. But, you know, a great humbling is coming to these women of these countries that walk with their nose up proud. You know what I'm saying? Heads held high, looking at men in the eyes. Wicked as fuck. Uh, humbling is coming to you because uh, the, 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 the idols... The scriptures tell you that Baal is confounded Merodach is broken down Hollywood pushes the vibration Of these 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 pagan gods Through their movies You know what I'm saying Of course it wouldn't be It doesn't have to be a movie About You know Straight up idols It's done like You know Scenes in the movie And how Characters interact with each other How women act How men act in the movie You know what I'm saying Little subtle things They try to put in there To program people you know, and that's, again, going back to their idols. So, all of that is going to be confounded when Yahweh Bashim Yashai starts bringing this judgment. When he brings famine and more pestilence. Look at the, M, the, the MP that people are getting all around their mouth. The Mopo fucking people up. And, you know, it's not enough, man. Because we was just at a point where we almost had a national $6 gas average and, and uh, gas prices of course are going down you know but most high he's he's about to bring something and it's going to be it's going to be a humbling to you fucking women and no amount of the brainwashing see all that madness that you've been taught jake is going to learn that it it, it, it it has gotten them nowhere you know what i mean so that's just my thoughts on this movie it's a bunch of madness once again Because I mean Hollywood They just come out with a bunch of dumb shit these days So all praise goes to you How about Shalom